Welcome to the next episode in Siege Ring. Superior superpowers in space and Spots are protected by shield generators. Getting near them will be tricky, but you'll have to shut down each one before you can take out the main hub, which of course is protected by even more Zin. So, good luck with that. Oh, thanks. Very helpful. You cunt. And what's a hotspot? Basically, a giant workstation. A system like the simulation you're in probably requires constant maintenance, which is what these seem to be for. And this is the only one? Of course not.
the size of the blue thing. Focus on the shield generators, otherwise you'll never get to the main console. Might as well yank shit out. <laughs> Didn't see that coming, eh? Piece of cake. I want that inside me. My wardens underestimated you. I won't let them make the same mistake twice. Uh, that can't be good. So with him, Kinsey. Set me up with one of those training rooms. I think I can do that. Fuck! So what did I get? Teleportation? Laser vision? Bone claws? Whoa! Looks like the ability to freeze people and objects with an ice blast. That sounds awesome. targets from the simulation for you. Oh, hang on. You're not putting in people who will try to kill me. Don't worry. These are safe programs. You can't die from them. Didn't see that coming, eh? What am I looking at? It looks like 
data clusters can be hidden inside walls. Use your blast to knock them out. Shit! Hell of an entrance there, guy. I'll see if I can help with that. Okay, you should be able to recover from being knocked back now. Hold on. It looks like Zinyak added the shield to the warden code. I guess you pissed him off. Occupational hazard. Now how do I get around it? You'll need something more powerful than a weapon. Use your superpowers to deactivate the shield for a short time. Then you can shoot him. See? That works pretty well. Though the real thing might be a bit tougher. A bit? Let's get down to business. To different. Pumping now. Oh! <gasps> 
Pumping now! Sorry, didn't catch that. Human chaps. Okay. intentional
Going to the top, baby!
Best view in town. Better than you.
Time you should run. Lose that. Let's see, mate.
a door that'll allow your mind to get out of the simulation and back into your body. Head toward it. Right. So what's the deal with this sin invasion, Kitsy? The good news is they didn't get everybody. Just a whole bunch of people. According to what I've been able to decipher, the simulation is designed to house the best and the brightest specimens from various worlds. The best and brightest from an entire planet? How big is this thing? Big. But they haven't gotten to all of Earth yet. Just the major cities. Last I heard, Oleg was up at Camp David. That area doesn't look like it's been hit yet. Wait, where am I in the real world? Are I mucking about with my body? It's... in a safe place. Once you're free, I'll pick you up at the landing platform. It's in a safe place. It's locked. Wrong door. <laughs> oh, cheers. Wrong door. I think you're terrible. Can you quit being a baby and just walk in? Look, lady, we're doing this in my time. Well, 
of the beast. I swear every time I come home it's all, what'd you bring me? How come I never go on any raids? I got the same problem. I never get to just sit down and relax without being pestered by the missus. Hey, there's a human! Corpses to earth. That's right, I'll kill a lot of you. This <coughs> on. Can they hear me? Well, hello. I see you're attempting a noble escape. Understandable given your situation, but I urge you to turn back. Oh, 
Alright. I picked the right running mate. Damn right. Okay. Let me take a stick. I'm getting us out of here. GQT, thanks for saving my life. Why, thanks, boss. I love being appreciated. Boss, I'm the president now. When did you turn into such a jerk? Surprise, Kinsey. I've always been an asshole. Thank you. I mean it. You're not wearing pants. This just got weird. A little bit. Can I fly now? Knock yourself out. Why'd you save Keith David before me? I, uh, passed by him on the way out. How, pray tell, did you get out? But let's just focus on flying, shall we? Too right. Why'd you save Keith David before me? I, uh, passed by him on the way out. How, pray tell, did you get out? But let's just focus on flying, shall we? Too right. Kinsey, does this ship have a radio? Radio signals bounce around space for... Oh yeah, this is my jam! on target. Target. We're not really leaving the others, are we? Hell no. But if we're taking the fight to Zinyak, we'll need all the help we can get. Kinsey, can you get in touch with Oleg? Yeah, we should be in range. Huh. I always thought Nightblade was just a vampire show. Oh no, my friend. It is the essence of drama. Hey, you need to take that? You know anyone with the 217 area code? Is that St. Louis? Mm. Probably tell Marco. Oof. Ignore. Voicemail. You want me to leave a message? <laughs> 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 
Killed seven billion people. Whoops. We're done talking. He's not getting away with this. You're goddamn right, he's not. Kinsey, can you use this thing to place me back in the simulation? Yeah, I think I should be able to. Do it. Wait, you want to go back in there? You can't kill Zinyak plugged into a computer. I can kill a lot of people with a computer. You? Sure. You need help setting the DVR. If taking over a small part of the simulation led you to me, taking over the whole damn thing has to do something good. You don't even know what will happen. She probably does. The president is right. Whenever the simulation is disrupted, I have a small window to work my way inside the Zim security network. The more it's disrupted, the more time I'll have to map out Zinyak's mothership. I can identify structural weakness, locate where they're keeping our friends. And find Zinyak. Yeah. All right, let's do this. When historians look back on the fall of the Zin Empire, this will be the defining moment. An act that was supposed to demoralize, galvanized. And a course was set that the Saints could never back down from. But even more monumental is this. If the Earth was not destroyed, pragmatism would have won over desperation. And the Saints would never have been reunited with the most dangerous man in all of history. Johnny Gat. But ever as always, I'm getting ahead of myself. Like all good stories, the second act begins with a call to action and the building of a robot. Taking down the simulation will wreak havoc on all the Zin systems and help us locate our friends. There's plenty you can do to overload, disrupt, and generally break the whole damn thing, so let's start small. I know hacking stores seems trivial, but it's a good place for us to begin. Alright, get moving. Good place to stop actually with the destruction. Well, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and goodbye.